Hey everyone, it's Jeff from Sunland Water Gardens and today I want to show you how to use the Pond Master uh, test kit from API and it tests for four, uh, four different things. It, it uh, tests for the nitrites, ammonia, pH, and uh, phosphates. So I want to show you how the, the kit works and what you have to do. So what we're going to be doing is testing some pond water a customer brought in. So what you want to do, they, they come with these vials and you can see there's a line right there. Uh, we want to fill up the water you're going to test with up to the line. So, and there's going to be four vials. So fill up uh, the four vials up to the line with the water that you're going to be testing for. And they are glass, so don't break them. Um, we, we're using this little dropper. It does not come with a dropper. So um, just find a way to, uh, you can always pour a little bit, you know, pour the water in there and kind of just shake a little bit out. But, um, you know, find the best way for you to add water up to the line. Okay, so after you get your four vials filled up to the proper uh, line, uh, we want to let's start with um, start with the uh, nitrite. Okay, so on these bottles, it shows you um, how many drops to be added, and it says add five drops. So that's what you're going to want to do. So the first vial. We're going to add five drops. Let me come over here. Okay. Once you add the five drops, uh, they come with caps. So go ahead and cap it, and then give it a good shake. All right. And we're going to let that develop. And you can set it next to the card. As the <clears throat> as it develops, it will start changing color, and we'll go over the right uh, measurements after we get all the tests done. Uh, the next one is the uh, uh, pH, and this one also says add five drops. So same thing. Same thing, put the cap on, give it a good shake. I'll go ahead and set an extra card. Okay, so now the ammonia. The ammonia is going to be a little different. It's a two part. And the first one, let's see, it says uh, bottle one, and is going to be eight drops. Okay, so we want to do bottle one first. Okay, so now let's put bottle two. And bottle two saying it says the same thing, it says add eight drops. Okay. And do the same thing, put the cap on, give it a good shake, and then set it next to your card. And then the last uh, test we're gonna test for is phosphates and phosphates is also a two-parter so it's going to have two bottles and uh, bottle one six drops and bottle two six drops and uh, put the cap on and give it a good shake okay so shake it. Okay, and now bottle two, and same thing, uh, six, six drops. Okay. And again, just uh, replace the cap, give it, Good shaking, 
and set a next year color charts and let's see what's happening here so for most of these charts they really should be closest to zero so this one is your nitrites zero is perfect and of course the higher or the more purple it gets uh, the more danger uh, it's, you have um, the ammonia same thing zero is obviously perfect and as you can kind of see as you set the uh, uh, vial next to the colors um, that one's showing almost zero so that is perfect and of course the more green it gets the more toxic the water is getting uh, pH now pH is a little different you want pH at uh, 7.5 is perfect um, you know I, I'd say anywhere from 7 to 8 is going to be okay for most ponds you can kind of see this one here is showing let's see what it's showing it's showing almost 9 so this customers pond is has a, a little bit too high of a, a pH and our last test here is your phosphates again phosphates closest to uh, zero as possible um, phosphates uh, you know I'd say anything that's the first two or three uh, are pretty okay but when you start getting into the you know the fives and the tens there that's that's just getting way too high so and um, you can kind of see this one's this one's on the on the lower uh, chart so uh, water looks pretty good other than the pH and uh, test your source water see if that's the cause of, uh, of, of the pH or not and um, and all the dots that we're doing is kind of where perfect water would show so okay guys so you know a lot of people get scared when they have to test this test water with a kit like this but not too hard to do so I would recommend them over the um, strips that they I have to offer out there the strips are not that accurate and uh, so the API pond master test kit is what we use and does well for us so anyways all right thanks for watching and I'll see you coming bye bye